Hi and welcome to another installment of Math Basics, Mr. Besh. Today we're going to talk about a cross-section, specifically a vertical cross-section. And the model or shape that I'm going to use is going to be a cylinder. A cross-section is found when you take a three-dimensional shape and you cut it in half. If I were to cut this shape in half from left to right, smack dab in the middle, this would be referred to as a horizontal cross-section. What our question is asking us is what is a vertical cross-section? A vertical cross-section is when you take your three-dimensional shape and you literally take the diameter and slice it right down there going from top to bottom. When you cut it down literally from the diameter to the top and bottom, what happens is you have two halves that kind of look like this. What we want to do is we want to pay close attention to the shape that is in the inside of my cylinder. See, every shape, every 3D shape, has a different shape that's inside once it's cut from top to bottom. And now what we want to do is we want to find the area of that shape. So once we identify that the fact that the shape inside there is rectangular, we know that the area of a rectangle is 10 times 15, which comes out to be 150 feet squared. Now remember, not all shapes is, an, is, is there a rectangle inside, in that interior, when you do a vertical cross-section. You know, if you did a cone or you did a, a pyramid, the shape would actually be a triangle, all right? So, so you want to pay close attention to what that shape is and then just calculate the area of that shape. And that is the cross-section. Uh, I hope you find this both helpful and informative.